Hi, I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be creating a Canvas application using the wizard, and this is going to be done in about 30 seconds. It's going to be super quick and super awesome, and not only that, we're going to be able to reuse this code in other Canvas apps. Let's go ahead and take a look at make.powerapps.com. So here we are at make.powerapps.com, and what we're going to be doing is using the wizard to create a Canvas app. So this is done in the section where it says start from data. So this is used when you have a table already created. There could be information inside of the table, or it could just be the column headers. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to use an Excel table that's online. You can choose whatever table that you have available to you. So it's going to ask me for my different connections, and I'm going to be using this top squad tracker table that I have for my business. And I'm going to choose the only table that's inside of it. And when I click connect in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to create this application in about 30 seconds. Awesome. So what you'll see is you now have a Canvas application. And with inside of the tree view on the left hand side, so you can see the stack of papers is called the tree view. This has created three screens for us. And this is done by default with the wizard. So it's going to create a browse screen so you can see all the data inside of your table. It's going to create a detail screen where you can see the individual records as you click on them. And then it's also going to have an edit screen where you can edit records and create new records. So as you can see, I have a record in here, but it just says yes, yes, yes. So that really doesn't tell me what is going on. So if I click inside of this, notice that it's asking me this item dot bag the trash. So this item references items inside of a gallery. And so this is reusable code. So the first part, this item, is reusable code that we can use in different Canvas apps. Bag the trash is the individual column with inside of that table. So whatever column is being displayed here, we can actually change it. So if I remove this, I can actually look through all the different columns that I have available. So this item dot. So notice I have all the different columns available to me. I can use the arrow keys to scroll down. And for this case, let's just go ahead. I'm going to put the name. You put whatever column you want inside of that. Now, if you don't have a record here, so if there's no information, notice that we have three different icons available to us. So we have a refresh button that refreshes our data. We have a sorting button that either sorts it ascending or descending. And then additionally, we also have a plus button where we can add new records. So if you don't have a record yet, let's go ahead and add one. So what we're going to do is in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click the play icon or F5. All right, so let's click the plus icon. This is going to bring you into your form where it's going to display all the different information uh, that you have with inside of your table. And so I'm just going to type in some random answers in here just to get a little bit different answers. I'll put a different name. I'll put John. All right. And so you'll see that we have a cancel icon and we also have a check mark. The check mark is going to submit this form. The X is going to cancel it. So let's go ahead and click the check mark to add this to our table. So it now immediately adds this to our table. And we can see that we have two records in my case. In your case, you might have one. But this is our browse screen. We can see that from our tree view. Notice that it brought us back to the browse screen. But if we want to interact with our application, we can hold down the Alt key on our keyboard and select a record. I'm going to select the John record. 
Notice this brings me now to the detail screen. Notice in the tree view, the detail screen is lit up, letting me know that is what's currently being viewed. And you can see that I have both an edit and a delete icon. So I can delete this record or I can edit this record. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit icon so we can see what that looks like. So go ahead and hold down the Alt key and select the edit icon. So you can see it now brings me back into my edit form where I can change any of the information. Now once again, the easiest way to type into your app is to go into play mode. And so I'll just change the name, put in John Wick. Click the check mark. This is gonna save it to the table. It's gonna update it. So now here's on my, I'm on my detail screen. I can see that the name's been updated. And if we want to go back to the home, we can hold down the Alt key and click the back arrow. But remember, the whole point of this wizard app is it builds the app quickly, but not only that, we can reuse some of the coding. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the coding that we could reuse in different Canvas apps. So if you select an item with inside of your Canvas app, so if I'm gonna select the plus button, notice that it tells me what this button does. So this button creates a new form and the name of the form is edit form one. The second thing it does is navigates or takes us to the edit screen. So as you select the different items with inside of your app, it's going to give you coding. And so the coding is the formula in the first part. So in this case, it is the new form. So that's the reusable portion of the code. So new form will always create a new form. And then you're going to put whatever the name of the form is inside of the parentheses. Same thing with navigate. Navigate is the reusable function. So navigate will navigate you to whatever screen you want. And then in this case, it's called edit screen one. But depending upon your names. So in this case, let's say I want to change the name of the form. Okay. So I'm going to go into my edit screen and I'm going to select my form. Notice that it's called edit form one. Well, if I change this name in the tree view, let's call this top squad form. So I change the name in the tree view to top squad form. And so notice when I go back to my browse screen and click on my plus icon, it now says new form, top squad form. So the reusable code is the blue code, and then the name is whatever's inside. Notice that it has a different color. It's that purplish color. So that is the name of whatever you're navigating or the name of your form. So all of the items with inside of this, so you can see we have a search bar right here. There's nothing actually in the search bar, but if we click on the gallery, so the gallery is displaying the information. So if you select the first row, this is known as the template cell. This can modify everything underneath it. If you select anything other than the first row, it selects the entire gallery. So if I select the entire gallery, you can see that it is searching. So it's, that's our search bar and it's searching over my table. So in this case, it, mine's called table one. And then it's using this search box up here to pull back the information. And once again, this is done for us. So notice the only thing we'd really have to change is the naming of our columns, right? So you can see that this wizard app does a lot for you. All you need is a table and it will create the application in about 30 seconds where we can then reuse the code in different Canvas apps. So this is a great way to really jump right in, get your hands dirty and really start to understand the functionality and how everything relates with inside of Canvas apps. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.